Welcome back, folks. Here we are again. Cassie, better to start with a minivan or just get a van? Uh, you know, that's a hard question. Minivans are cheap. $3,000 minivans are a dime a dozen. I have a 2015 GMC Savannah and it has 40,000 miles on it now. If you can live with a small space, get a minivan. Okay. My name is Bob Wells, and I live in a van. I've spent the last 10 years connected to nature. I can hear it, I can feel it. I'm connected to it even when I'm sitting inside the van. And I'm out of the van a lot because this is a small, tiny space. I grew up in Alaska hiking and backpacking, and I had this real profound sense of the importance of nature. But then I, I grew up, you know, and I got married and I got a job and I had kids and we bought a house and all of that was gone. I love my kids, I love my wife, but that wasn't what life was all about. There was more to it. Then the divorce happened, and I literally did not know how I was going to pay for rent. There was no money left. Every day I drove by a place that had a big box van. And one day I drove by and I thought, I could live in that van. So the next day on the way to work, I stopped and said, how much do you want for this van? He said it was 1,500 bucks. And I gave him 1500 bucks and drove away. Society told me this was the worst possible thing that could happen to me, was to live in a van. To be homeless, be a bum, live in a van. I found this life that I loved. And so I wanted to start telling people, there's a different way to live. And so I started a website to tell people about it, to inspire them to do it, and to teach them how. In 2016, I started the YouTube channel. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. So a lot of what I do is just the nuts and bolts. This is how you go to the bathroom, this is how you stay clean, this is how you stay cool. How often would you see an air conditioner this small? It has to be this small to be at all practical, you know, if you want to take it in your car, your van, or even your tent. This actually produces cold air with a compressor and it squeezes the heat out and produces cold. When I tell someone, you know, you don't have to pay $1,500 a month out of the $2,000 a month that you make to pay for an apartment. You could live in a car, van, or RV. So people would tell me their story, you know, that they lost their job, that they couldn't pay their rent, they stayed in their house for as long as they could, then they lost their house. They didn't know where they were going to live tomorrow. They didn't know what they were going to live on. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. I'm just glad you've got all those videos out there. It's just great that you're willing to teach people how to live with the, the bare necessities. There is a way to live that way. Come on, Gemma, get back over here. There's stuff in there and it's pretty obvious. We don't have anything in there you don't absolutely need. <laughs> but I do have a few things. I have things that make me happy and I have little things that I like. I think that's pretty minimalistic, just having a van, I mean. Well, this is minimalism. If you came from a two-bedroom or three-bedroom house, this is like nothing. Less is more. <laughs> we are like ants in a farm. The question is, how does nature intend for you to be happy and to live? And okay. it's like a nomad, directly connected to nature on the move. One of the reasons I love living in a van is because I'm free. And I get to choose where I'll be, when I'll be there, and why I'll be there. My life is constantly changing and evolving to what I want it to be. 
I think that's a lot of why nomads are so much happier because if you're discontent with your life, you move to where you're contented with your life. When I'm on the road, I'm going home. I may not even know where I am going. I'm gonna go there and it'll be home again.